Hey fellow tennis nerds and welcome to this video about Gustavo Cuerten's racket. You might know him as Guga, a very well beloved player who arrived at the French Open in 1997 as pretty much unknown. Um, the guy he played in the final, Sergio Bruguera, had pretty much never heard of him. He had not seen him play, but uh, Gustavo had taken the whole tennis world by storm when he Went through the tournament, he beat three ex-champions at the French Open in 97 and won his first Grand Slam. A very impressive performance, uh, so he's really one of the legends in tennis. I think he brought a smile to many tennis lovers' faces. Uh, his game style was very aggressive, very nice to watch. Had a huge one-handed backhand. It looked a bit weird from a technical standpoint, but he could hit it for a winner at from pretty much anywhere. He could take it really early as well. And he was uh, famous also for bringing in the polyester string to the mainstream tennis. He was one of the few players at the time who was actually using uh, a new string, the Luxlon All the Power Big Banger. And he got more control, more spin from the string. He was actually really benefiting from some technology there, which is uh, quite rare in the tennis world. You don't see a lot of the pros, they usually stick with what they know. But he was actually playing with something new, something fresh that gave him an advantage. He could hit harder, he could uh, go for a bit more and the ball still stayed within the lines. And I think that helped him a little bit. He was a force on his own, of course, but I think the string did make a difference in him winning this title and allowed him to play more freely. And he's kind of a free spirit guy and um, quite a character. And this allowed him to really express himself on the tennis court. I think you might also remember this flamboyant yellow-blue apparel, this iconic Diadora set. What is Gustavo Corten's racket? Uh, many of you might know it's the Head Pro Tour 630 or the PT57A as it's called in the Pro Stock Code. Racket that's been used by players such as Thomas Muster, Andy Murray, Jill Simon, Alexei Popirin from today's uh, crop of players, Robin Hase and Tommy Haas. I've made a video about a few of these players uh, before and the more of these kind of videos to come. So if you want more pro player racket videos, you can just search the channel uh, in Tennis Nerd and you should hopefully find. You can also go to tennisnerd.net and use the search function there. So this racket, it was so popular that Head and Tennis Warehouse decided to bring it back. This year, Head Pro Tour 2.0, I've reviewed it already. You can check out my review on this channel, it wasn't very long ago. It's not exactly the same racket as Quertens, it lacks Tuaron a strong synthetic fiber uh, that some think are, is the magic ingredient and the current Head Pro Tour 2.0 is a bit stiffer than what Quert and Murray and those guys use uh, but it's also a bit easier to use with a slightly lower swing weight because if we look at Gustavo Quertens actual racket thanks again to Greg Raven's collection of racket specs that he has published on his website you can find the link on tennisner.net uh, we can get a more exact measurement he strung the racket, and this is according to the website, with Luxelon All Power Big Banger 16L, so that's 1.25 gauge, with 55 pounds in um, the crosses and 59 in the mains, so um, 4 pounds higher in the mains, which is a, more of a difference than I'm, I'm used to seeing. You would usually see a difference of 2 pounds, but this is 4 pounds. Model of the racket, as I said, Head Pro Tour 630. It's a 95 square inch racket. It's not 98 as it's listed on many websites because Head used to measure the outside of the racket and not the inside of the racket. 20 millimeter beam, uh, so nice, controlled, uh, flexible, good for the arm. Uh, but quite difficult to generate power with, had a low stiffness, below 60 RA in the stiffness rating, strong weight around 348 to 350 grams, but the balance point was quite low on the headlight scale, so 33 centimeters, which is four points headlights, so that's a lot of weight in the head for this kind of hefty frame, which creates a high swing weight, so uh, his swing weight was 349, so very common for pro players to use swing weights in the 350 range, I've created uh, swing weight videos that you can check out comparing WTA players and ATP players and also how it's uh, changed over time. So the swing weight is going down uh, on average, but many pros use swing weights around 350. Um, so you will, have, you will find Murray, Djokovic and so on using in this kind of range of swing weight. 
Regarding the grip, he used a grip 3 with two overgrips, two torn overgrips for a pretty slim grip. He stayed with this racket under various paint jobs. You know how it is with paint jobs. It's painted to look as like a new model, but he's actually using his old racket because why would he keep changing something that works for him and that he's 100% comfortable with? He did try uh, the flex point technology, which was a bit of a weird technology that had these kind of flex point holes. The idea was to give the racket a new flex point to flex more in a certain location and to bring power in control is what uh, the flex point technology had as a slogan. Not really sure it worked that well because they didn't keep it for longer than that. He also tested a PT167A Pro Stock racket according to Pro Stock Tennis where you can find this racket. It's the flex point radical MP mold. So he Tried a few different frames, but he stuck with the main match racket, the Head Pro Tour 630. Uh, perhaps he was open to testing new technology to get more power on his shots, but in the end they, they tend to go back to what they're used to. But the big deal with Querton is that he actually brought in the Luxonola Power Big Banger. And uh, this string obviously took the tennis world by storm. Polyester strings are pretty much the standard on tour and among club players. I mean, many pl pro players use it in a hybrid setup with a softer multifilament or natural gut string, but most uh, use it in a full bed to get that extra spin, extra control uh, compared to multifilament strings that, are, that tend to move a lot more uh, when you hit with spin. That's about... Gustavo Querton's racket, a fantastic player to watch, uh, he could play some amazing tennis, has a beautiful style and he moves uh, really really well. Sadly he had to retire in 2008 due to hip problems, pretty sure he would have won more if it wasn't for his injury issues, but he managed to capture the hearts of tennis lovers worldwide with his uh, pretty infectious smile and his uh, beautiful movement and style on court. Uh, so please let me know in the comments below what you think of uh, Guga and his equipment and his career. And uh, I hope you like this video. Please click like. If you do, please subscribe to the channel and tell your tennis friends about Tennis Nerd. It helps a whole lot. And if you need help choosing a racket, there's the racket consultation service at tennisnerd.net. And if you want more content like this, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash tennisnerd. That's about it for now. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.